speed. They've been tweaking the bike. He's got the inside gate, which will be an advantage. Need speed here. Very much so. It's Pedersen off the inside. Troy Batchelor going off gate number two. Matty Zegar three. Doyle going off the outside. Pedersen with two race wins to his name. Seven so, points from four rides. Yes. And, and never gives up. No, he doesn't. And uh, you're not a world champion if you throw the towel in, Nigel, are you? And he's done it on three occasions. And he's always there and thereabouts. He's very well prepared. He has a tremendous team around him. So he's got the inside gate. He'd dearly love to win this race and finish with 10 points. Heat number We're 18 off. it is, and he's made a good one, Nicky Pedersen, but so is Zegar. Zegar now is going to hit the dirt and try and get the drive around the outside, but Pedersen hangs on. Pedersen has a lead. Look oh! at Doyle and Zegar! Oh! Big crash! Big crash down the back straight, going into turn three. Well, let's hope they're going to be OK, these boys. Doyle made a strong move there. Pedersen had made a good start. Not sure if there was contact between Doyle and Pedersen, but certainly a dramatic crash going into turn three on the opening lap. Long straights here at Gorzhov, high speed, oh. really were pressing on as they went down there. Pedersen goes down hard, and Zagar once again getting caught by the debris. Fingers crossed for the, uh, the boys here. Well, they just really winded on here. No room there. Nicky well, goes down, Maddie yeah. can't avoid him. His front wheel's taken away by uh, Doyle coming up the inside, Nigel. So Doyle's... Clips probably... him there, clips him there, goes straight down. Ooh. Doyle, and then Zagar's got no choice as well. It was a gr really, really tough move from Doyle. Doyle's alongside there, a little bit of contact with Zagar, but he just wipes out. And no surprise to see the exclusion light of Doyle go on. Doyle, unfortunately, just a little bit over-eager there. Shame. Fingers crossed for the two fellas on the floor. Really tough fall, such high speed, you go down with a real thump. Yeah, um, fingers crossed they're going to be OK, um, particularly after the week we've had, of course. And um, fans applauding the riders. Well, Doyle was on s six points coming into this race, so unfortunately for him, he's blown his chances of getting in the semi-finals. Shame for him, because he's ridden well tonight. Um, but once again, he's... Uh, it's a shame because he, he's got a strong racing instinct, Jason Doyle, but at times it just gets the, the better of him there. And uh, he clashed with two riders going into that corner. And to be perfectly honest, there was all sorts of carnage that so came as a result of that move. Nicky sat up there. Great. Good news. Good to see. Nicky sat up. And so Zay is Matty. Zagar once again, an innocent victim there, just could not get out of the way of of Pedersen once his front wheel folded underneath him. You saw they the replay. calling for an ambulance, by the way. There is an ambulance coming out onto the uh, speedway surface here now. But both riders are sat up. They are conscious and they are sat up. Both riders. Um, Tough game, Speedway. Cool. Tough game. This yeah, has been possibly one of the toughest Speedway meetings I've ever seen tonight. Very, very um, uh, hard for nobody giving a quarter at all and there's no doubt that um, uh, you know at times it's taken our breath away there possibly well Doyle quite clearly just overdid it going into turn three you know he's uh, he had the opportunity he was alongside but he ran out of room at the last minute and at high speed no brakes on speedway bikes so you just can't get out of the way when you really need to and you saw quite clearly in the replay when Pedersen's front wheel literally collapses underneath him, it actually folds underneath him and he slams off quite a shocking crash. Zagar feeling the full effects, but let's keep our fingers crossed that both of them can get to their feet. So, Jason Doyle's night is over. Six points for Jason Doyle. Shame for him because he Big shame. had a shout of a semi-final there, but he's frustrated. A couple of times this year, he's steamed up the inside and been excluded for it. And Grand Prix Speedway, he was talking about he's an apprentice and he's having to learn his trade at this level. And, you know, it's easier said, it's very easy for me to say, oh, we shouldn't have done it. Your racing instinct as you go down the back straight, you see the gap, you want to get there, you're desperate for world championship points. But unfortunately, that move did create all sorts of problems for the other two lads. Yeah, real hard accident. 
think Mickey's up and walking away. That's Zagar. That's Zagar, sorry, walking to the Zagar ambulance. Yeah, away, do yeah. apologise. We can't really see from here in our commentary position, but uh, see the reaction of the people around there. There, you know, it was right in front of them, so they they saw the full force of that. Pedersen taking his time. Well, quite rightly. So, I mean, it was a an, an awful landing for Nicky well, Pedersen. Yeah, he got slammed into the track at high speed because you saw the front wheel tuck under and, of course, effectively throw him over the handlebars. So, concern for both riders. You see it again now. Pedersen's in front. Zago in second place. Doyle with a lot of speed. You've got to say, you know, it's a racing instinct. He's got there. He thinks he's got it all under control, but unfortunately, he's run out of room. Look at Zago get off there. Look at the bike. Crikey, that really is a dramatic crash. And Pedersen goes down. There's no room there. Pedersen goes down because his front wheel is clipped by the back of Doyle's. And then Zago with no room. Zagar's made the move to come to the inside, but Doyle was so much straight line speed. Just unfortunate that he hasn't really quite got enough room, but look at the way the bikes and bodies are thrown there. Crikey. Wow. Dear, oh dear. That just shows you what a tough game. You can see that the helmet, the helmet has taken a massive brunt. He wears a very good make of helmet. It's fantastic to see uh, Pedersen up. Brilliant, brilliant. You Nicky know, Pedersen walking away from that. Would you believe it? Fantastic. Good news. He'll be in the rerun. He's a tough man. He's in great shape. Helga there, he's manager of a uh, long-standing manager. He's been through thick and thin with Nicky. He's there on hand to escort him back to the pits. But yes, you know, when you take a tumble like that, it will take your breath away and you will need a few moments just to take a few deep breaths to recover your composure because Believe it or not, in the very few, uh, in the very near future, he's going to have to pull his helmet back on, possibly another helmet, um, because that the one he was wearing looks a bit uh, worse for wear. He's going to go back to the tapes and do it all again. Is this a classic case, really, where Nicky is one of the fittest guys around? He's, you know, he's late thirties now, but he trains hard. He's an athlete. It certainly and, doesn't. And does that help in that situation, then, Kelf? Without question. How much? Without question. Um, uh, he has the resilience to be able to bounce, and he has, uh, you know, he has a core.